Okay, in the last episode, we hired a new assistant coach, former Sunderland legend Morgan Cooper. And hey, that may have boosted the morale of the team. We had maybe our best episode yet, and we climbed from the bottom of the championship all the way up to now 13th place. We still got a long way to go, though. Now, today we get our final youth scouting reports back. We found a few academy players, but this one might be the best we've seen so far. So drop a like down below if you're enjoying the series. And of course, let's get back into it. Now, we start this episode off with a tweet, some news. We are still hearing a lot of rumors about Jack Clark, our best player. He's playing so well that a lot of teams are looking at him right now, and I'm not sure if we'll be able to hold on to him much longer. Now, first come today, though, you should try to sign some good free agents. Yeah, when you start crew mode, there's a lot of good free agents, like, there immediately, but but there's so many, and they're so good that they're really OP, and I think for a team like Sunderland, kind of doesn't make sense. I do think, though, later in the series, we could look at free agents more. Just maybe not in this first season. Now, this next comment is saying we should buy Yan Summer to be our new goalkeeper. Yeah, I'd say our goalie spot this year has been interesting. Anthony Patterson's only 23 years old, so he's not that experienced, but he's been good at times and also kind of bad at times. I still think it's too early to think about a replacement, though, so I think we give him the rest of season one and then next season we can decide if we want to keep him or not as our starter we still got to give him a chance now last one i think evan ferguson is the right striker you need i mean yeah ferguson would be amazing in this team i think definitely we'd have to get promoted first before we can even sign a player like that but if it makes sense that would be a great signing for us but okay we have not had the most luck with youth academy this year we've had uh, plenty of reports not too many players we found our one academy graduate though is matez check now he played in the last episode at 54 rated and he actually scored his first ever goal for the club and he had a great performance so at 16 years old he could be the future of this team i don't know and now in our academy we have four players but they're not really that great definitely need a lot of development there but we just got our final reports back for the year and in our report from england we may have found our best youth academy player of the year now his name is thomas hobbs so he's a 19 year old sentiment fielder who's 58 rated he's 510 he's got three star skills three star weak foot he's also got the power header and technical play style now if you look at his stats i feel like he's actually more of a number 10 than a number eight but his starting stats don't look bad at all with his best stats being like passing curve also free kicks and also his pace seems like a very technical midfielder so thomas hobbs becomes becomes our second academy graduate of the year. I am going to try and convert him to a central attack midfielder though. That's going to take, I think, yeah, two weeks. That might increase his rating even more, but Hobbs will get his chance the episode to show what he can do. I feel like he's got a lot of potential. Look at that. Hobbs comes to us and he says, I've been dreaming about this happening. Thanks for giving me a chance in the senior squad, boss. I'm desperate to show everybody what I can bring to this team. Now, I think he's going to get his chance right now as we face Watford at home. So 19 year old Hobbs gets the first start of his career. Look at that. A debut to remember Thomas Hobbs. Even the media knows. All the uh, cameras are on him. Let's see how he does on his debut. First touch. Welcome to the club officially. Now, we've climbed up to 13th place i want to stay there i don't want to drop further so we got to keep putting up some uh some points now Watford definitely decent so this game might be tough thomas hobbs early shot that's gonna be blocked now we might get another chance here thomas hobbs finesse shot from hobbs okay definitely not finesse shot guy we've just learned that all right parrot gets it out to huggins huggins good ball to clark gets it in a parrot now, Parrot, early chance to shoot. That's going to be blocked, though. Okay, Watford don't look that good defensively so far, but I shouldn't be talking. Our defense is horrendous. Parrot, Clark, you on side? You must be on side. No, he is on side. We're going to cross this all the way over to Roberts, which that cross was good, but no one was there for it. Kuna plays it to Hobbs. Get it to Parrot. Parrot to Neil. Neil had such a good episode last time. He's become like a pretty good goal scorer. Now, Roberts into Hobbs. Gets it to Parrot. Over to Clark. Clark cuts inside. It looks for some space. Man, that second touch was so heavy from Clark. Okay, this is kind of bad. We're kind of out of position here. This is not great. Kuna against uh, Rajivit. Now, one player that I like on Watford is Emmanuel Dennis. I feel like he's a pretty good player that could be uh, signing in the future. Definitely like a low to Premier League level striker. Now, that's a good tackle, though. Roberts gets it to Clark. Clark out to Huggins. Huggins tries to play to someone. Man, I tried to get him that to Parrot. That went nowhere near him, though. Not been a bad start. We just can't find the goal. Now, Hobbs on a run here. Thomas Hobbs goes for a shot. Okay, that went off the defender's arm. The ref didn't even see it. Neil gets it to Hume. Hume into Hobbs. Hobbs tries to play through. Does to Neil. Neil shoots. That's saved. Chance is not done yet it's gonna be hume who takes a shot and that shot goes so far wide okay not a bad first half though i think we were the better team there we just can't find this first goal just yet i would say hobbs for being a what 58 rated doesn't got a place in this team definitely uh, held his own now that's good ball in and patterson big save that would have been a terrible start of the second half right there thank you patterson corner in by livermore that's out by clark hume gets it to clark now clark hold it up get it to bakuna we're gonna find a shot here Bakuna finds parrot finds clark Clark, no, I was in a crossover to Roberts there. Clark was offside. Oh, no, I think Parrot was offside. Yeah, Parrot was off. Man, Roberts was there for the cross. Kuna, good about Roberts. Now, I feel like it was one of these games where we're the better team. It's just, can we find the goals, though? Neil, Parrot. Oh, Neil, that ball was so bad to Parrot, though. Okay, Neil, that is a great steal. That definitely rhymed. Now, Clark, no, the ball from Neil is once again not the greatest. Okay, Neil has not had that good of a game here, but hey, it's understandable. Now, we got 15 minutes. Game is still nil-nil. Hume, chance to run here. Hume gets it to Neil. Neil is going to try to find something. Neil, again, with a bad pass. Okay, I'm not going to blame him there, though. That was just a tough one this is very dangerous that's gonna be something but ballard in front of him doesn't turn him huggins just clear it huggins will just clear it we got like three minutes the ball has not gone out in forever okay win that now get it out please we might have one chance here to win it roberts gets it over to hume into parrot parrot turns gets it to hobbs okay huggins we have a chance here huggins 
Oh, is there a pass here, Huggins? Finds Clark. Gets it over to Roberts. We have a shot here, Roberts. Find a shot. No, we can't get this shot. He can't turn enough. And that game's going to be a nil-nil draw. I feel like that wasn't a bad performance. We just couldn't find any clear shots. Watford defended well. So Thomas Hobbs makes senior debut as the headline, but it's going to be a draw. Definitely not the greatest of results. Now, we still stay in 13th place, though. We're about five points away from the drop zone, kind of ish. And then uh, we are nine points away from a playoff spot. So if we want uh, any chance of promotion this year, that shows how much ground we got to cover. And we are going to see more of Thomas Hobbs in this episode. Now, actually, speaking of Thomas Hobbs, he's ready to turn into a central attacking midfielder. So that is going to make his rating up to 59. Yeah, that's definitely his best spot. And he's going to be 60 overall in three weeks. So that shows he's got some uh, potential there. He's going to be plus two in already his first episode. Now, our next game, though, is versus Leicester away. Now, they're in first place. Last episode, we beat Preston when they were in first. So now again, we face currently the best team in the championship and probably, yeah, the clear favorites to uh, actually win this league. Now, Thomas Hobbs is going to make the bench this game, but I got to go with our strongest team. Yeah, if Leicester don't finish first this year in the championship, I'd be very surprised. They are a favorite for automatic promotion. We are definitely not. So I'm not sure how this game is going to go. No, Ian. Pakuna into Equa. It's not a bad start. It's going to be Jack Clark with a chance to shoot in a decent spot, but that's going to be saved. All right, Roberts cross in. Now, Equa tries to go for that. That's going to be another corner, I think. Okay, we are going short corner this time. Clark feeds it into Hume. Gets it back. It's going to be Neil. We know we can shoot, but that shot is deflected back to the keeper. And our press right now is giving Lester a few problems, but they got the players to get around it. That is the scary part. Okay, that's not a bad steal from Neil, though. Now, Nian gets it over to Hume. Come on, can we execute on these attacks? Can we execute, Roberts? Tries to play to someone just got closed down. Not quick enough there on the pass. Okay, this is not good. Mavididi just got by Onian very easily there. That's going to be a shot. And pass in Daka. Currently the top scorer of the championship, I think. Adds another one to his tally as Leicester take the lead. That was like their first actual attack. I mean, he's got to be probably the best striker in this league. Okay, Leicester up 1-0 in the 33rd minute. Now, Jack Clark gets it. Huggins. Where is the crossing option? Players are not in the box now. Now they're in the box, which that cross, that was not bad. Roberts just can't get it. Okay, now Eunice is just skipping by Ballard there. He's going to be in. He's going to take a shot. And Leicester score 2-0 on just two breakaways. And our center backs can't catch up. I mean, they're showing why they're in first place. Under 40 minutes, it's 2-0 to Leicester. See if we can uh, score one at a time, get back in this. We know this team has shown that. At least the ability, which Parrot turns. Parrot oh, just loses it to Ndidi. Bro, the players are facing right now are like Premier League level. Neil gets it to Hume. We are just not finding space here. Equa gets it out to Huggins. Huggins, crossover. That's a good ball. Oh, Parrot just literally outjumped it. Bro, that was such a good cross. Oh, that could have been 2-1. Instead, it's 2-0 at halftime. Yeah, this game here is it's not looking great for a Sunderland win or even a point. We're going to try, though. Roberts gets it out of Hume. See if we can get a cross in. See if Parrot can actually hit it this time. That's going to go to Roberts. Now, Roberts just got out muscled by uh, Mavidi there. Roberts, Equa gets it to Jack Clark. Out wide. Huggins, Equa. No, I mean, this pass, we just cannot string like two passes together right now. Bakuna into Jack Clark. Jack Clark shoots. Jack Clark is going to hit the post. What is my luck right now? Bro, this should be 2-2 right now. That Parrot missed header and then hitting the post. Now, Hume, ball through to Parrot. Parrot, do you have the pace here? I think he does. Parrot, a one on one chance. Is not going to get the shot away. Man, he just had no support. He's got swarmed. Hey, we are still pushing Neil. He's going to get that to Troy Parrott and Connor Cody's He's going to block that. Okay, I'm going to take Parrot off for Racine. Bring on Bellingham for Equa. And then let's do Hobbs for, I think, uh, Roberts. Let's do that. So Thomas Hobbs makes his uh, second appearance along with Bellingham. We just get one here. Get us back in this and give us hope. But it's not going to be from that corner. Wait, it might be. Bowen a chance to shoot. Okay, Job a chance to shoot. No one can get the shot away, though. Bro, we have had our chance this game. We just can't take them. Now a ball in through to Pats and Daka. And this might get worse. It's going to be, it is going to be 3-0. Bro, the Pats and Daka counterattack has just been too good today. Want to see how we measure up against probably the best team in this league? We are seeing in this game right now. Neil to Rusin. Get it back to Neil. Now Neil, Rusin. Goes over to Joe Bellingham, and that shot is going to be saved. One or in. Ballard. That might be yours. No, it's not. Hobbs, chance to shoot. Oh, Thomas Hobbs, chance to shoot. That's going to be another save. That's not a bad shot from our uh, Youth Academy graduate right there. We just cannot find a goal. Corner in again. That is Joe Bellingham, and the keeper is going to save it again. You've got to be kidding me. Neil gets it into Thomas Hobbs tries to shoot, but he's tackled. Or like, we're nowhere near as good as Leicester right now, but we are getting unlucky this game. Like, seriously unlucky. Oh, Huggins, I mean, we're just playing to the final whistle here. That's going to be a, not a bad, actually is a bad header from Neil. And okay, that's going to be a 3-0 loss versus uh, Leicester City. Probably the favorites to win the championship. That shows right now where we are as a club. If we could have scored at least like two goals this game, but just not good enough to beat the first place team. And yeah, Pat Sendaka is currently the top scorer of the league. So we have probably one of the worst defenses. So he definitely feasted on us. Now we got two very lucky sim wins. So we're up to 10th place even after that loss but still nine away from a playoff spot and we've not scored a goal today like we are we are struggling now our assistant coach morgan cooper wants to meet with us and he says i was a scout for six years he says hobbs is a special talent we have to make sure to play him otherwise we'll waste his potential and hey, i trust morgan cooper's judgment so i agree we gotta get hobbs more game time he's had a few shots that easily could be goals so in our next game versus preston thomas hobbs will once again get the chance to start now, you might have noticed we actually dropped back down to a uh, 13th place after i think a draw and a loss in a sim game we gotta start putting some wins together in actual play 
played games and actually scored some goals. Okay, Parrot. Oh, he's going to be just offside. He's going to be offside, right? Roberts. No, he's actually onside somehow. Okay, Roberts, please. That needs to be a goal. Thank you, Patrick Roberts. I completely thought he was offside. Like, I thought he was off by a mile. But apparently, he's not. 1-0 to Sunderland. It is about time we actually score a goal. That was as simple as you like, too. Just a breakaway. Okay, can that get us back on track now? now the problem is, they're coming right back at us, Ballard. Okay, O'Neill. That is some good defending by Ballard right there. That was very dangerous. Huggins taken out. Send him off. Give him a red. Now, it should be a yellow, but if he gives him a red, I'm going to laugh. It is going to be what? It's going to be a red. How is that a red? I totally knew he was going to give him a red, bro. Is that a red, bro? I've seen worse tackles than that and then giving yellows or even just talking twos. Okay, Preston down to 10 men. We got to win this game now. Hume. Good ball to Neil. Now, Neil. Good cross. No, Neil. That is such a bad cross, bro. Our crossing is so bad. Who was that even to? Well, we got to win this like three or four nil now. So Jack Clark, I need you on your bicycle. He's going to play to Hobbs. Hobbs. Gets it to Parrot. Okay, Parrot, good touch there. Now, Neil gets it out to Hume. We're not crossing this, but I'm going to take him in the box. Actually, we are crossing it. That is, no, once again, it's a good cross, but in a bad spot. Huggins gives it to Parrot. Parrot's going to shoot. That'll be deflected back to the keeper, though. Parrot, Neil, over two. It's going to be Thomas Hobbs. A chance to score his first goal for the club, but that defender caught up to him. Yeah, the chances are starting to come here. Okay, don't lose our head defensively. Neil, Neil, great steal there. Parrot, oh man, I tried to slide into that. It didn't work though. But we cannot let them score down to 10 men. That'd be so bad. Good steal by Neil. Neil, okay, Neil, get it in the end. Now, first half 1 0, we should win this 2 or 3 0. So the goal has got to come at some point. We cannot waste this uh, gift that Preston have gave us. Roberts to Neil. We got so much space here. Parrot, you got so much space. We're going to play it over to Hobbs. Hobbs plays it too. Jack Clark shot, and Jack Clark actually puts that shot wide. For our best player in this spot, I'm taking that shot every time. Oh, he just puts it to the left of the post. That should have been an assist for uh, Thomas Hobbs. Okay, Clark, a chance for redemption here. A chance for redemption. Jack Clark just running through. Woodman makes a save, though. It's not a bad steal from uh, Hobbs there. Now, Clark in a parrot. Parrot, we got to need support, though. Parrot, actually a great ball to Roberts. Roberts cuts inside. Left-footed shot from Roberts, and he can't put it in. That was like the same finish as before. Oh, bro, how close we are to scoring for the second time now. All right, first sub is Roberts off for a Mundle. We got nine minutes. Preston are just barely holding on here. That's a bad ball, though. Clark gets it to Mundle. Mundle going to find Troy Parrott. Troy should seal this game, and Troy Parrott will finally seal this game. Okay, it took us way too long, but that should finally seal this win. Great assist by Mundle, and it's also a pretty good finish by Troy Parrott. All right, Job, Aushish, and also Pembele coming on. This will be a much-needed win. Okay, Aushish gets it to Hobbs. Hobbs gets it back to Oshish. He's going to shoot, and the keeper's going to save that rebound. Almost Clark, uh, he almost got to that. But okay, the game's going to end 3-0. We should have been like 3 or 4-0. But you know what? We'll take the much-needed win. With the advantage, we got the job done. So that desperate win we needed will put us in now 11th place. But still, 9 points away from the playoff spots. We can't, like, make up any ground here. So basically, midpoint of the season, we're mid-table, like right smack mid-table. Now, we just entered the uh, January transfer window. But in the budget, we only have $4 million to spend. And obviously, we don't want to bankrupt the club by just spending that. So I'm not sure we're going to be able to make a signing in January. We maybe have to sell someone or find like a really cheap signing so for now we might have to work with what we have and now our next game is versus whole city away now it feels like for the first time in a while we're facing a team that's below us actually not in front of us now once again thomas hobbs gets the start and we try to go for back-to-back -back wins so i think to make a signing in this january window we got to find someone who's around like the two million value mark i think that might be like the the max we can sign on one player we might be able to find someone who's that low but might have potential so we'll see for now though i want this back-to-back -back win I'm gonna switch it over to huggins now huggins so across that is someone it is gonna be a corner instead now that does not look bad doesn't fall to anyone though it's gonna be uh okay that was very awkward it will be cleared though now this is a dangerous breakaway from aaron Connolly, the player that i want to sign in this series at some point leading that breakaway now okay what are those moves i don't know what those were thankfully we stop them though now thomas hobbs not a bad ball over there it's gonna go to hume now hume crossover parrot not a bad first touch but he's got sandwich bro parrot's always so alone and he's always between like three defenders and okay, neil timed with roberts pretty well there roberts parrot he wants side parrot i think he is on side parrot shoots and that's that's one nil to sunderland once again i thought he might be offside but nope troy parrot on the score sheet again that was some good build up between uh roberts and parrot roberts found the pass at the right time man that is really close you could uh, see the whole players with their arms up calling offside but nope it is not that is one nil to us okay troy parrot what a steal this could be two nil troy Doing everything, literally everything on this run. And I should have waited. Oh, I didn't trust his left foot. And I knew I shouldn't have. Oh, man, he should have finished that. That's pretty far wide there. Could have been more patient. And Connolly is showing why I want to sign him. He's like dribbling past players every left and right. Hume, though, good tackle. Come on, defense, do your job. Don't let him tie this up. Don't let him tie it up. Okay, that's going to be a corner. Might be the last chance of the first half. Corner in. Now, that is a really good corner. Bakuna clears it out. Then I think Hobbs will get the second clearance. Okay, first half, 1 0. Once again, I think we have a real chance to win this game. And hey, I am liking Thomas Hobbs in the midfield. He's kind of like Joe Bellingham, where he's got more. 
more uh, technicality to him, like more than Equa. But Hobbs has got like more pace than Bellingham. But it feels a bit better at least his, okay, his speed. Parrot, that could be your second steal right there. Somehow they are playing around with it at the back. They are not liking our press right here. Now that's Forrest to steal, which we're going to play it over to Hobbs. Hobbs, good ball to Parrot. Parrot. Good find Roberts, we do. Oh, Roberts can't find the Bakuna. Bakuna cleans it up. Not quite enough, though. They got a chance on a breakaway. Wow, they score here. It's going to be so undeserved. Hobbs, look at that tackle from Hobbs there. I like to see it. Now, Parrot timed with Jack Clark. This could be it. Oh, Jack, he doesn't have that much stamina, though. Gets over to Huggins. In to Neil, who's going to shoot. Man, that shot was so weak. This will be a great time to score the second goal. And Parrot gets to it. And Parrot's got two this game. 69th minute. That is 2 nil to Sunderland. Okay, Troy Parrot, have yourself a game. That probably should be the hat trick for him if you didn't miss that uh, second chance. But okay, after the first two games struggling, we are looking now at back to back wins. Now, first up, though, is Job on for Roberts. And let's see if we can uh, secure this three points. Right, Bakuna gets it to Hobbs. Now, Hobbs got Clark. Thomas Hobbs. See, there's his passing right there. It's a very good ball to Clark. Clark is going to find Hobbs again. Hobbs, a chance for a long shot. Hey, that was not bad. For only 60 rated, he definitely looks pretty good. Corner in by Bakuna. That is not going to fall to Parrot. Might be a chance, though, still. Hobbs, not swing it over. Actually, a good ball over to uh, Neil. Neil, dink it up. No, Clark was right there for that. Okay, we're going to go short corner. Clark is going to find Hobbs again. Hobbs, another shot and another uh, shaky save. You can see the impact he's making with that passing, but also his shooting, too. Okay, don't let him back in the game, though. That's a good block by Bakuna. Hobbs, good control. Very good control to lay it off to Huggins there. All right, two minutes. Okay, they are pushing so many numbers forward. Patterson, what a save that is, though. Job plays it up to, I think, Neil. Okay, Neil's got no stamina, bro. No one has stamina. Get it over. One more. It's going to be Hobbs. Gets it over, too. Jack Clark who shoots, and that's going to be 3-0 to Sunderland. Okay, that is the commanding win that I wanted. And also, I believe that's Thomas Hobbs' first assist. He's fitting this team perfectly. Just a great pass over to Clark, and Clark does the hard work there. Okay, yeah, these last two wins are going to be very good wins. This time, uh, when it was even, 11 v 11, that's still a win against a good team. And also, what a game by uh, Troy Parrott. So that does get us in the top 10, and we're now 7 points off uh, 6, though we gained 2 points there on the playoff race. I mean, maybe we can make like a late season push to the playoffs, I don't know. Definitely an outside chance, but there's still a chance. Now, I talked about us being in January, of course, to sign players, but that also means we have the chance to actually lose players too. As we talk to Morgan Cooper, he says Clark wants to set up a meeting with us. He says, I'm guessing this is about the transfer rumors around him. And if he wants to leave, we may need to prepare for life at Sunderland without Jack Clark. So next episode, we look to make a signing and we find out if we're losing our current best player. So if you want to see that, then of course, drop a like. And if you click on screen, I bet you'll like this video too.